y'all. Bow your head for Jaquavia Seals, y'all. Listen. <laughs> he robbed the subway and got caught because he left behind a whole job application. Y'all, my heart is bleeding for him. And I know y'all like D, but he robbed the subway. Yes, he did. He did. And I'm so sorry for subway. But y'all... Okay, let me tell you the circumstances and leave them in the comments if you think that I'm just crazy or not. This happened in Noonan, Georgia, y'all. So Jaquavius was going around in Noonan asking who's hiring. He went to Subway. They said they only had morning shifts available. I guess that didn't suit him. So he went to other areas, other, you know, stores around the area and got job applications, filled them out. He came back to Subway and was just sitting there. And then they said, he said, fuck it, got up. Went to the cash register, and he said he was in a situation, okay? And he grabbed the money out of the cash register. They caught him because the application that he filled out for another business was left on the table. He left it behind with all his information, y'all. And that's how he got caught. So, <laughs> I don't want to say America's dumbest criminal. It sounded like he was in a situation. I don't know if he owed somebody money, if his family's about to be evicted. He knew he was going to go to jail for whatever the case may be because he's already in Subway that morning getting an application, um, you know, trying to see if they were hiring. He already knew what the deal was. So leave me your thoughts because I'm sending out prayers to the workers in Subway. Of course, this is a bad decision. Bad, bad decision. But also... You know, people just make bad decisions all the time, and I hope this is something that he can learn from, get some life skills, go get a job so you don't have to go rob people. This sounds totally crazy to y'all, I know, but something is going on to put him in this desperate situation, and a lot of people are in desperate times, but we just don't want them to do these things.